on this fine Sunday morning. Let's turn this down. Say hello when you come in. I'm always worried that I'm not streaming in the right place. <laughs> Hello, hello. We are going to make the witch from the other night. Um, I had used the three-piece witch attachment that I sell, uh, but I only used the legs, and I used the legs with the witch crashing on the wing board. So today I'm going to be using the hat uh, that came with that wreath, wreath attachment set. We don't want anything going to waste. I'm going to be using this vinyl, which is 513. Hello, I'm fine. How are you guys this morning? Okay, we're going to do just a simple witch. Uh, I'm going to continue on with using tool. Um, we're trying to teach you guys how to use different materials to make wreaths other than just like deco mesh. Um, so I'm going to be using tool and I'm going to be using this purple cosmic mesh. Good morning, everybody. Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Good morning. Hey, Janie. God, I miss you, Janie. I hope your arm is healing. Okay, so I'm going to be using this metallic cosmic twist, it's called. And it's a six-inch mesh. It's pretty funky looking. This one's purple with silver. It's very fitting for my hat to match her hat. Okay, hello. Yeah, you use satin, for, I've seen, uh, I think I've seen one of your satin wreaths. Beautiful. I have to learn myself. I have to learn myself how to use satin. So, I'm continuing with Halloween. Halloween is not my favorite at all. Not like my friend Michelle from Monkey's Creations. She's a Halloween fanatic. Um, so I'm just getting my Halloween things done and over with. Because <laughs> I want to move on to fall and Christmas. So, good morning. Hi, Rusty. Hi, everybody. Where did the hat come from? The hat came from, um, it was a three-piece set we sell in our store, uniqueinthecreek.com. I used the legs. Um, uh, the legs the other day when I used the crashing witch and I used a different hat because this hat's a little smaller but this hat will be perfect on her face so I broke up the set so that's what we're using hello hello okay so I'm gonna go down to the board this would probably be, would be pretty quick okay and we're going to apply our vinyl decal. Now you want to make sure there is nothing on your board. And in this house, it's glitter, dog hair, crumb, food crumbs, whatever. Just make sure it's nice and um, debris free. And I am just going to squirt a little bit of water on here. And this just helps. And I just got, I picked up this at the dollar store. It's pretty. It's prettier than my other water bottle. <laughs> so I bought a prettier one. So I'm just going to move some of this water around. Now our vinyls are water soluble. So this will dry and it will adhere really, really well. The water is just helps um, in case you don't put your vinyl on perfectly straight the first time, you can move it around and stuff before you actually squeegee it and commit. Um, when you're using the character boards, your hanging holes are right up at the top. And there's a number one in between there. Okay, so that's my top of my board. And if you visualize, the center is right down these holes right here. That's the center, very center of your board. And that's the center. So that is the very center, okay? So I'm going to take my vinyl and just peel it right off. Okay, discard that paper. And what I'm doing is I'm putting my face in the center of the board. 
See how you can lift it up with the water? And I'm kind of looking in between her eyes and her nose. So I want to make sure that's just in the center and that looks pretty good to me. Now it's a little over this way, so I'm going to lift it up and move it over. Just a little bit. Now, if you didn't add water, this would be really, really hard to do, to move your vinyl. All right, we're good. Now I'm gonna take a piece of paper towel. Hello, everybody. And I'm using a Mod Podge squeegee. Uh, you can get them at any craft store. Um, you can also use any kind of card. Now, uh, a debit card may be a little flimsy. You might wanna grab two debit cards and put them in between your uh, paper towel. Some people say they're not, they're getting air bubbles. And if you're getting air bubbles, it's because you're not squeegeeing hard enough. And it might be that your, your card is a little flimsy. So try two cards if you um, don't have anything like a squeegee or anything. Um, this is a luggage tag. It's actually kind of thick. So it's not a very good example of, of a debit card, but it's just a little trick I've been learning from um, my followers. All right, now I'm going to start in the middle and just squeegee out, and the water is going to come out from the behind the vinyl, and the paper towel is going to catch it. And this ensures a nice, good adherence. Now, if you put too much water on, it's 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 a little bit better than ha not having enough because if you don't have enough, you won't be able to move your vinyl around as well. And there we go. That's it. Now, this takes about 24 hours to cure, but you can continue decorating. You do not have to wait for your vinyl. Okay? And I think it did really good. There's no gonna go over it just one more time make sure I got a little bit of water squirts coming out I did put a lot on there we go and then just dry it up there she be so your wreath frame and your face are all one piece now so you don't have to worry about attaching and all that stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using tool. Now I did mark, I'm trying to erase this one, but it doesn't matter. You can mark and put um, your pattern right on your board because as you can see, I put black marker here. You're not, your customer or yourself are not going to see that once we cover it up. These are just my markers to remind me that from here, from here to here, I'm going to be doing purple. And then the rest of here, I'm going to be doing black. Okay, the black, I'm just using black tool for her hair. Um, a lot of people use deco mesh, which looks amazing. Again, we're just trying to um, teach you other ways. Um, if, you, if the mesh is not available to you, that you can, you know, do other things with other materials. Okay, so I have pre-done my pieces of mesh, but I'm going to show you how I'm doing the hair, okay? Isn't she cute? Okay, so I got my measure buddy. Now I'm gonna open my measure buddy up to 12 inches, okay? We're gonna be doing 12 inches. And this is gonna be for her hair. And I want her hair kind of crazy looking. So, oh, let me see. There we go, good morning! Hello, everybody! Hello, hello. Okay, so I'm still using this black tool from my hat that I had the other day from my witch crashing. And again, I'm going to be using the purple cosmic for the bottom part of her. I'm going to take my tool. Now I just have it on this spool thing. You could even use a like a paper towel holder or something. And I opened my measure buddy up to 12 inches. You can cut a piece of cardboard at 12 inches and wrap it around if you don't have a measure buddy but if you don't you should get one because you can measure ribbon tails you can measure 
twine, you can measure, you can measure anything that you need to wrap around up to 20 inches, from eight to 20 inches on this. And it's very durable and um, it's only one piece. You don't have to have all kinds of different pieces lying around your craft room. And it's portable. So if you're going to crafters convention, bring your measure buddies. Throw it in your suitcase. Okay, so for the hair, I'm gonna do 12 inches and I'm gonna go around six times, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is just regular tool. I do sell this black tool on my website. Uh, it's a hundred yards, so it's the big rule. And I got my 12 inch piece. I'm gonna fold it in half, okay? And I preloaded this couple of them so you can see what I'm going to be doing. You're going to, where you fold it in in half, you're going to stick that end right into the zip tie. And I use from the hole to the outside of the board. Okay. And we're going to leave it like that. Now I'm going to take another zip tie and I'm going to go down row two. So if you're not familiar with our boards, there's a two and there's a, a ring going around that indicates this is row two. And I'm going to preload closed. So just like that. So I made a little bit of a zip sound with my zip tie and it's locked and closed. Hi, Dean. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, everybody. Okay, now I'm starting from the bottom and working my way around because... When you do it like this, it layers. We're gonna do layers so you're not gonna see the zip ties. So if you start from the bottom and work your way around, you don't have to keep lifting. So if I started up here, I would have to keep lifting my tool to look under here. Um, hopefully that makes sense. So again, 12 inches, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now don't worry, I've pre-done a whole bunch so we don't have to sit and watch Lori count tool. Okay, fold it in half again. Where I folded it is where I'm sticking it into my zip tie. Now remember I said she, I want to have her to have some crazy looking hair. She's gonna have some crazy looking hair. Okay, now I'm gonna snip the tails of the zip ties off and they are now garbage. We'll just use this little container. Okay, and then I am going to, now you can do this as you're going or you can do it at the end. If you do it as you're going, it's a little easier to find the loops to snip them. We're gonna snip it. And then all of a sudden you see this poof, right? And you can use, I have a whole bunch of different colors um, of tool coming that are not glittered. So right now I have black, regular black on my website, and then glitter. So we're going to continue with her hair, and then I'll kind of make it crazy after we get going. All right, so now I did pre-make a bunch of tool pieces already. And I'll show you what I did. I just like to use little elastic bands. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you can go around even four times because as you can see, we're doubling. I wanted crazy hair. So I'm making it really, really poofy. The less rotations around, the less poofier her hair will be. Now I'm just gonna take a little rubber band and just go around the top there to make pre-make um, the mesh. Yes, I do sell th this tool. I think it's for something on the website and you get a hundred yards. And we, I also sell the cosmic tool in all different colors. There's purple, red, the gold is really fun. I'll be using these for a fall rail later. Pink, there's a red gold, which is really pretty. Anyways, now I'm just going to stick this whole thing right into the zip tie. So you can go and cut your tool in your lap while you're watching TV or something and just throw it into a grocery bag. 
and then then you can put your your uh, wreath together. Start putting your wreath together in your lap. Good morning. So I'm going down and up. And I'm using the outside hole, or the hole on row one to the outside of the board, because I do want her hair going crazy to the side. Sorry, somebody must be at my door. Now, you can even leave them, like separate them and leave them without cutting them. Just like this, that's actually kind of cute, but you got to separate them. Oh, that's pretty funky. Kind of like it. It won't be as wild as if you cut it, but it does look really nice looped like that. Oh, I forgot you went and got coffee. Thank you. Mm, cheers, everybody. My my latte mm. chai tea latte from starbucks yum anyways i already planned on making her hair wild and crazy so i'm going to cut these loops now i separated them so i have to go and look for them all but it looks really cute without cutting them as well She's styling. Good morning. The tool I use is called the Measure Buddy. That is on our website. It's another invention uh, that Dave and I came up with. It's a all-in-one measuring tool. And you can measure from eight inches up to 20 inches. And anybody that's bought one absolutely loves them. Um, they're fabulous to have in your craft room. Um, I do lots of gnomes, so I wrap things. I do ribbon tails. Um, pretty much anything you can need to wrap, you can use your measure buddy for. You can even make a bow with them. Oh yes, one roll of, of this. There's a hundred yards of this tool and you could probably do three of these um, on with the hundred rolls or, or the hundred, yeah, the hundred yard roll. <laughs> so once we get her fit out I, um, done, I'm gonna move, start moving her hair towards the outside. So it looks like wild and crazy. And you can see it's starting to get full as we layer each of the tool. Now I could probably, since I have an elastic band, I could probably cut the tool. Why I don't cut the tool ahead of time for the strands is because um, if you drop it, then you're picking up all these different little strands of tool, but I have rubber band. So, it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, everybody that's bought a Measure Buddy absolutely loves them. They are pretty handy for that. For 13 bucks, you can't go wrong. All right, let's finish preloading this board. Now I'm gonna be putting her hat probably kind of sideways. Probably not gonna do it straight on. So I'm only gonna put Maybe tool right here for her bangs to come down. She's got some wild and crazy hair. And she's gonna need a haircut.
So I'm just going to stick these in and I'll cut them after so we're not, you guys are not here forever. Okay, now I'm going to start on this side. Oh, do you? That's a good idea, Joanne. Wrapping your tails around the measure body. So what is everybody doing on this beautiful Sunday? Actually, it's not beautiful here. It's rainy and overcast and kind of gross out. But it is a Sunday. It looks like your hair before you brush it, Elizabeth. <laughs> Yeah, we want some funky hair. And uh, like I said, you can even, you can do, you could put more in it. You can do different colors. I was going to put some gray in there and then I thought, nah, I'll just keep it simple with the black. Okay, and I'm going to start over here again down at the bottom. Now, if you got black zip ties, even better, but you really can't see the zip ties through all the tool anyway, so. And that for this project, you can use, you can most definitely use four inch zip ties. I know the bills. Go bills. Actually, it looks really cute with it not cut. Look how cute that looks. Oh, I already committed to the one side, <laughs> but it looks really, really cute. Not even cut. Just opens like that. Now, of course, if you want her hair longer, you would just, um, instead of 12 inches, you could go up to like 14 inches. Hello. Sitting in your craft room watching me? Well, thanks, Nadine. It's a Sunday. It's a yucky Sunday. It's a crafting Sunday. Oh, I wish I would have did the other side like this. Look how cute that is. Actually, I'll let you guys decide. I need one more. So, there it is without cutting the poofs open which is, I really, I think that is so cute. Which cut side do you guys let? Like, here, I'll show you guys closer and we'll, after I open them all up. So you just go around and open it up. So there's, oh, I didn't cut this side. There's the poofy side, where it's crazy looking, which is I kind of like, and the more tame side where you keep them closed. <laughs> so you can tell the difference. More tame. It's almost like curls. Really, really cute. Or wild. I think I'm going to go for the wild because that's just the kind of mood I'm in. So now I have to figure out all these I'm not going to sit here um, and cut all these. I'll do that later. Hello. Keep them closed. Open on wild side. You guys, they're both really, really cute. It, it would be totally up to you, whatever you wanted to do. All right. Now I'm going to do the center one. I'm going to do a little bit different because it's her bangs. So I still, I used, 
I've been using the same roll of tool forever. So if you had a full roll, you definitely could probably make three or four of these witches for sure. Okay, I'm going to make, go down to 10 inches and make bangs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to do eight. And then I'm going to just go right through the zip tie so it goes downwards. Pull it tight. I'm going to have wild bangs, kind of like mine when I woke up this morning. All right, and then I'm going to do from the hanging hole that way, and then one going that way. And don't forget, we're going to have our hat on too. And we'll move all this so you don't see the board. Okay, so I'm going to have one going this way at the top. And this one doesn't have a thing. You can use the little mini clips if you've been collecting the or getting these little sewing clips that I've been using. And you don't have to use a rubber band. Ah, all right, her hair is done. Now, if I had lights, which my lights are on the way, for those of you who know I love to add lights. Um, I don't think I have any more in stock on the website because they I've been waiting for like two months for them and I think they're almost on the way. I would add lights to her for sure. So, wild and crazy. Isn't she adorbs? She looks like your sister-in-law. <laughs> really, Tracy? <laughs> or curly. Just don't cut the loops. All right, it's very simple. Um, and cute. Alrighty, let's do the bottom of her dress. So I'm going to leave one side curly, one side straight. <laughs> I like the wild and crazy too. This is just a little bit more, um, elegant, let's say. <laughs> I will end up cutting both, so they're wild. She's wild. Alright, so now I'm going to be using this purple cosmic tool. We're going to make her a little collar. Okay. It's just now this is I remember I put my lines here. I was gonna do just the collar here and then I thought I don't want her hair like coming down too far. So I moved the line. So first thing we're gonna do is the bottom row two. And I'm just putting zip ties from the bottom row two hole to the outside of the board. I'm not closing them right now. I'm going to take my tool or my cosmic mesh. That's cosmic mesh. It's purple. Especially when you bunch it up, you'll see the color. And let's do, let's see. Maybe 10 inches and maybe four times around. I'm just guessing. So I've got my measure buddy still at the 10 inches from when I did her bangs. So one, two, three, four. And the cosmic mesh is six inches by 10 yards. I'm gonna take it, fold it in half again, just like I did with the mesh or the tool and go point it downwards. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to use this hole to this hole. No, I'm not. I'll just use this. It'll make the, the, uh, we'll call it the blouse, the color of her blouse longer. Okay. And 
then just do the zip tie right around the middle. I'm not going to cut it open yet because then it'll go wonky. One, two, three, four. And these little character wreaths are so fun to make and they're very inexpensive. Great to have um, for a filler at um, a less expensive item at a crafts show because kids, you know, lots of people love Halloween, but they don't want scary. This is far from scary. <laughs> One. Thank you, Mary. Two, three, four. Yes, this is the measure, buddy. I got it pulled out, number one. So the whole thing is eight inches, and you can pull out, and it locks into the different increments. You can pull row uh, arm one out to 14, and if you need anything longer, you can pull row two out to 15, all the way up to 20. So from here to here, you have 20 inches. It's a handy tool. You can tell a crafter invented it, which is moi. <laughs> this cosmic tool is so fun to use. No fraying. It's sparkly. I ordered a lot more because I didn't order a ton because I wasn't sure um, if I would like it. And I absolutely love it, especially for the rails instead of using mesh. One, two, three, four. It is going to be coming out cute. She's going to be adorbs. Like I said, all I needed was to put lights in, in behind her, but I didn't have any. All right, last one. One, two, three, four. And the nice thing is the tool, if you've ever worked with tool and deco mesh, they definitely are not friends. They hate each other. And if you've done tool in deco mesh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It sticks to each other like you wouldn't believe. This does not. All right, let's snip those off. I'm not going to cut them yet. Actually, I might just leave it like that. I don't know. I am, however, going to go and preload open, preloading open row one here. So I didn't use any shared holes. Tammy, I have a few um, YouTube tutorials um, with the lights in it. I just taped them to begin with. I taped them just to the board with scotch tape because as I'm adding mesh or whatever, they get zip tied in. It's very, very quite easy. So I have a, quite a few videos because I do it a lot at Christmas. All right, so we got these preloaded open. We need a sip of latte. Morning, everybody. Yes, this, these are great for unicorn. They would be amazing for the unicorn uh, mane. It's so sparkly and pretty. Trying to use different stuff, guys. Try, I'm trying to teach you guys different stuff. All right, now we're gonna do ruffles um, for here. So I think 10 inches might be enough. Let's do one, two, three, four. Let's try four and see if it's enough. So again, I'm just going to stick it right in. But long-wise this time, I'm not bringing it downwards. Fold it in half, make sure you're in the center with your zip tie and pull tight. Now I'm just gonna cut these and open it up. And 
Now I think I need a little bit more. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to go around six times. So let's pull this one out. So there we have our back. So if you make a mistake or you want to change something, just click the zip tie and start over. Morning, Sheila. Morning, An Angelita. What a pretty name. Angelita Vargas. Oh, thank you. So I want to make the collar a little bit thicker. And we got lots. There's 10 yards on here. So 10 inches seemed to be a good length, but I just needed it poofier. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I think six should be enough. Now I'll do eight, seven, eight. <laughs> Better poofier than having to take it apart again. Okay, now I'm not gonna open it yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're just putting the middle of your bunch here, fold it up to make sure it's in the center before you tighten that zip tie. I love showing you guys different things. I love, love thinking out of the box, I do. Sometimes it makes my brain hurt and I get a little stressed because I, you know, kind of have crafter's block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess I believe there is such a thing as crafter's block. <laughs> Sometimes I'll get up in the morning and it's like, I just don't feel I have any ideas in me anymore. And those are the days where, you know, I will edit a video or something like that because then the following day is a totally different day, right? And you wake up and it's like, oh, I, I think I had, this is a good idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now she's gonna be really poofy down here. Happy witch. So again, I'm using 10 inch and going around eight times. I think six probably would have been suffice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I still have about a quarter of a roll. If you do six, you probably can, with one roll of cosmic mesh, you could probably do two of these. So it'll be about a half a roll. All righty, last one. Okay, the fun part, we get to, I'm gonna poof her right up. So I'm gonna, First, I'm going to cut the bottom. Again, you can keep them looped if you want. I'm kind of making her wild and crazy. This stuff's so awesome. It really is. I'm so glad I found it. And Michelle and I, when we went to the wholesaler, we looked at it. And at that moment, I couldn't think of what I would use it for until I literally got home. And it's like, oh my gosh, this would be perfect for the rails instead of using like bulky deco mesh. All right, so we cut the bottom. So they're 
from that one. Spread it out. All right. And now we'll cut these ones. I love when they pop open. Thank you for loving my videos. And thank you for watching me on YouTube. There we go. When you open it up, she's absolutely fabulous. So if I wasn't teaching, I could probably whip this up in about 40 minutes. That's including cutting the tool. Especially if I have an episode of Housewives on the TV. Ooh, this stuff would be cool for the clowns. Don't you think? Yeah, you probably could have went around six times. There we go. Open it up, we won't see the board or the zip ties, just her crazy hair. Now, I was gonna put a bow on her. I don't think I am. I, I, I think I'm gonna leave her just like their beautiful self, like that. I will be clipping her hair though. Isn't she fun? Pull it up a little bit so you don't see the board. She needs a haircut. Okay, so let's put her hat on. Yep, this is tulle. This is just black tulle. This side I've cut the, the um, loops, and this side I didn't cut the loops. So you can see both sides. One's a little wild and crazy, one's a little bit more tame. <laughs> and we have this cute hat. And it does have um, the wires already on the back of it. This wire up top, I'm not gonna use. So I'm going to take it out, just pull it out. Oh, she's super adorable. Now you can even use, I was thinking of even just using uh, ribbon strands at the bottom for her, for kind of her collar of her dress. So there's all kinds of things you could use. Okay, so I'm gonna go down. These, this hole. So I, this is the center. I'm going just to the left. Where I'm going is in between these two zip tie holes. And I'll flip the board over, you can see better. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same on the other side, with the exact same holes. The hat is a three piece set that I sell, but um, I used, I'm not one of those ones that like the face and then the legs hanging down. I can't stand that. People love it, don't get me wrong, it's just a pet peeve of mine. So I used the legs on my crashing witch, and then I'm using the hat on this witch face. All right, so there's where I went in the back. So there's our center of our board, our hanging holes. So let's put a zip tie in there right now so we can make a hanger. 
you can use whatever you want for a hanger. You can use wire, like I just pulled out this wire. I'm just worried that wire may scratch somebody's door. So I just use a zip tie or a hanger or a ribbon. Okay, and let's twist these. This is for the hat. Snip the wire off, not too short because we're gonna go back down the hole. I don't want anything scratching the door. Now this isn't a kit, but it very easily, you can purchase the all the stuff I used. It's a vinyl decal that we sell. And for those of you who are watching, tomorrow, and Tanya's probably gonna kill me, we have five packs of vi um, specific vinyls going on the website. And they're gonna be, the, if you buy the, the five packs, are going to be much cheaper than if you buy the single vinyl. So there's going to be different five packs. So like a fall five pack, a faces five pack, and one of the faces five pack is one of is one of the, these. A witch one, a Santa, turkey. I can't remember what else. You'll have to see. There we go. We tuck those back in. some of her bangs down I want her hat kind of flipped up like this I don't want it in her face I trim her bangs just a little bit good thing I'm not a hairdresser because I'm not even doing this upside down funky hairs coming out the side of her. Oh my God, she's so cute. <laughs> and the side of this hat is open. It's like a flap. I'm gonna put a little, oh, I didn't plug my glue in. What you can do is put a little bit of glue right on the flap and then just glue it to her hair. So you keep, it keeps the brim of her hat up. Just like that. And there we go. I have to turn my glue gun on. Isn't she cute? Wasn't that easy? Now I'm gonna have to go and cut. Let's cut her the wildness here. So there's all kinds of things you can use um, instead of deco mesh for making wreaths. Especially if you wanna make them fun. There's lots of stuff out there. So once you cut these loops open, they start to almost explode. Now I was gonna add I was going to add a bow. I don't think I'm going to. I think she's just adorbs, just like she is. <laughs> she is cute. Uh, the hat I got, it, it was like, it was in a kit that I sell, a three piece kit. I used the legs for my crashing witch the other night. And then this is the hat that goes with the legs, but I don't want to put legs down here because then it just looks like a body with, or a head floating with legs. She's super adorable. It's like tulle, you're right, but it's thicker. And it's got some, it's got a pattern on it. This one is the, um, like a metallic silver. Um, there is like the red, the red, this red is just a solid red. The gold is metallic gold, but it's not silver in it. Pink, 
is a uh, hot pink with a um, silver. I'm going to be using the pink for a uh, breast cancer, probably breast cancer rail. Um, and then we got the different tools. This is tool with the glitter. It's purple, green. There's all different colors. And then the black tool is the 100 yard plain black, which I used for her hair. Am I out of purple? I'm getting more in. It'll be in this week. But try the pink. Pink for the witch or green? Where'd my green cosmic tool go? I don't know. Anyways, let me come back up. Hello. Hello, hello. It's so cute. Very easy. Oh, I could even add the bow tie. She's super cute. <laughs> I just stuck the extra. The tool is on unique. Oh, what about this? Put this in the middle of her. There's the center. She'd be fashion. <laughs> um, anyways, very simple and easy. Um, yeah, but this stuff is great. Like I said, I have more of the tool, um, the cosmic mesh coming in. So if there was a certain color, like I said at the beginning, I didn't order a ton of this because I wasn't sure how much I was going to love it. And I absolutely love it. So I ordered a whole bunch and I also ordered, um, tool with no glitter. And then there's tool with glitter. Um, bling rope, bling rope. If you guys have been waiting for the bling rope, bling rope is on the website. There is lots of it. Um, measure buddies, grab your measure buddy while you're checking out. And, um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. I, I just, I knew I promised to do that and I wasn't feeling good for yesterday and after my live the other night. So, um, that's why I didn't come on, but I'm here now. I'm here now. Any questions? She would be styling. She would be styling. And she's very cute. Am I out of zip ties? I hope not. I will check the website. We never run out of zip ties. And I just ordered a, another 2,000 packs, so I will check. I know we're out of lights. I think we're out of lights. Lights are coming. Like everything else, they're on their way. They're on their way. <laughs> I used one. Uh, I used about a quarter of this roll of black. So about 20, 25 yards. 25 yards of the black. And if I only went around six times at 12 inches for her thing, um, you could even do, was it 10 inches? You could probably do eight inches. Um, anyways, you would have about a half a roll. I have about a quarter of a roll left. So you don't use much. And it's very fun. You could do it in your lap. Absolutely do it in your lap. You don't even have to sit in your craft room. Put a movie on and, and make a couple. Is there something I can do with the wing doors for Halloween? Maybe a bat? Oh my gosh, a bat. Bat would be cool. Has nobody done a bat yet? If you're not in Unique Reese Creators Facebook group, it's a free group, you need to go join Unique Reese Creators. They have the most awesome ideas in there. Blows my ideas away. Um... I'm, I'm going to have to search and see if somebody did a bat because that's an amazing idea. That would be so cool. And you could do a bat with the tool. That would look really cool because the tool will all blend and it'll look like, oh, that's really cool. Hmm. I used a wing board for my Crashing Witch and she worked out perfectly. The only thing I wish I would have did different with my Crashing Witch was to just to make her skirt all one color. Um, I may change that. I might make her skirt all just black because it's hard to distinguish from between her hat, her hair, the skirt, and then the legs. The skirt, I did four, like four different colors and I wish I would have just did it black to match her hat. 
Dracula bat. Yeah. You guys, you guys got the stuff turning. I'm glad. That's what I want to do. Oh, you got, you're buying the grass skirts off other people in different states? Good for you. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> hey, get it while you can, right? So everybody knows next, you know, uh, April, May, grab all the grass skirts for your fall, <laughs> for your fall wreathing. <laughs> Hello, you're missed us, Lorraine. I'm just finishing up. I will, Cosmic Twist is the Cosmic Twist Mesh. If you're looking for a certain color, it is on its way from the wholesaler as we speak. So it should probably be here my, uh, Tuesday, I would say. So um, I, I will be using lots more. Um, I really, really like the red with gold Cosmic Twist. And like I said, they're perfect for the rail and they work really well, obviously, for Anybody that's just joining us, a cute witch, black tool, cosmic mesh, and a cute hat, which I have to hot glue still. Yeah, wait. So we don't have to combine orders because that really screws us up when we have to combine orders. And for those of you guys watching, we have five packs coming on the website. I think Tanya said tomorrow. There's like six different five packs and the five packs individually are much cheaper than buying them singly. So, and I picked my five favorite for each season. So I believe there's a Halloween one, a Halloween pack, a faces pack, a fall pack, a welcome pack, a traditional Christmas pack and a fun Christmas pack. So, that is coming. Oh, thanks, Tina. Thank you for that. I just love when you guys say thank you because you know what? You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, we get people, you know, seem entitled to um, our lives, seem entitled to not just myself, but other, you know, Facebook Live users to our brain. And you're not really entitled to it. We just enjoy doing it. So please don't take advantage of that uh, by leaving, you know, some nasty comments and everything. You can keep your comments to yourself and scroll on, like seriously. <laughs> okay. Um, it'll be on the website, I believe tomorrow, the five packs you will see. And I, I know there's an email and posts going out about the five packs. So you'll be able to see what is in each five pack. So it won't be a surprise. You'll know exactly what's in each one. All righty. Well, thanks for joining me this morning. And um, enjoy your football if you're watching football. And um, I will probably I have one more Halloween one I have to do. I need to do a Halloween rail. So I will um, maybe do it this afternoon. I don't know. Just if you don't have my texting, subscribe to my text. So you know when I'm going live, and I forgot to text this morning when I was going live, so I apologize. <laughs> Anyways, I love you all. Thank you for your positivity and your comments. Keep them coming. Um, float my boat and all that stuff. Have fun. Bye, guys.